Hello, this is Burn, and if you're sick and tired of entering painful relationships and attracting guys that can't commit into your life, on today's episode, I'm going to be sharing with you the mindset that is required to be able to enter a fulfilling relationship once and for all. Hello, this is Vern. Welcome to your great life to be.com, a space where I share with ambitious, intelligent, heart centered women how you can create the relationship that you want without manipulation, gimmicks, silly techniques, and as a result of stepping into the most aligned and the most alive version of yourself. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you a mindset. And the reason why I'm talking about mindset is because you can do the work to leave painful relationships and attract a better quality of relationship in the sense of going to different spaces, connecting with different kinds of men. But if you don't change the underlying mindset that's, that's attracting those relationships and those men in the first place, then you're bound to repeat the mistake again and again. So today I want to share with you a concept where imagine right now that on this part of the scale, you have a void in your life. You're someone who's feeling sad about where you are in your life, you're feeling lonely, you're feeling uh, like something's missing, there's a craving, there's an itch, there's a, something unfulfilled, and you want to fill the void of life through a man and through a relationship. That's one side of the scale. The other side of the scale, imagine that you have an amazing life where you feel excited, happy, uh, you feel on purpose, you have great connections with your friends, you have a great connection with yourself as a human being, you have an excess of love and gratitude and the, the cup of your life is overflowing with greatness and you can't wait to share some of the excess awesomeness, the excess life with another human being. Now, because we're human beings, there's no human being who lives fully on this side or this side of the scale. However, the further you go into one side or the other will determine the kind of relationship you want. For example, if you're further to the side of the scale where you're feeling lonely and you want to fill the void with a man, you're going to attract a specific kind of man and be in a specific kind of relationship, codependent, more likely than not. If you're more on this side of the scale where you feel like your life is amazing, you are in love with your life, you are in love with yourself, you have so much to share and offer and you just want to extend it to somebody else, then the more you're on this side of the scale, the easier it will be for you to create a more fulfilling relationship. Now, I'm not asking you to be on one side. You don't have to be all on this scale to actually make it happen. And you don't have to be all on this scale to create a painful relationship, right? But I'm going to share with you right now the basis of why the further along you're going to creating a life for yourself first, where you fall in love with yourself, you fall in love with your life, you connect to gratitude, you do things that add meaning to your life, you feel the worth in your heart, in your soul, in your body. The more you go on that route, the more, you, here's why that mindset creates a different relationship. Number one, because you're able to choose differently. Think about it. If you are desperate, if you're all the way closer to the scale, you're desperate. You feel like the guy is a solution to your existential void. You're kind of, you're using the man to do something that you should be doing for yourself. So if you are on the side of the scale, you feel depressed about your life and the only thing that's missing is a guy in your mind, then you're going to choose a guy with a lot less high value. You're going to be more hasty in the decision making. You're going to take some crap basically because you just, you just want to fill that void. And the moment you feel that void, then he becomes your oxygen in some one way or another. When he becomes your oxygen, then if he does something shady or scary, and most likely he will because you didn't vet him properly, then you feel like you're suffocating. You feel like you're drowning. You feel like the, 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 somebody punched you right in the heart. Now, so that's the first reason. You're going to choose differently if you have more of that self-awesomeness, self-love, and your life is something that you feel excited about, not just doing okay, but really excited about. Number two, it just so happens that the more on this side of the scale that you are, the more attractive you will become to quality men. Why? Think about it. A guy who has more options, a guy who has his shit together, a guy who's good looking, a guy who's conscious, a guy who's intelligent, a guy who's heart centered, he's going to look for someone 
who can add value to his life, not suck him dry of energy like an emotional vampire, right? The more you are on the side of the scale, the more you're just looking to get some validation, get some love, get something to avoid feeling the, your existential crisis of sorts. So guess what? Awesome guys, they're going to connect with that type of energy and say, well, not for me. I want something different. But if you're more on this side of the scale, then you have more options, quality options. You have more men who are saying, my life is great and her life is great. Man, we could create a great team together. The third reason why it's important is because the kind of relationship you can create when you are falling in love with who you are in your life is a relationship that will go beyond self-serving, beyond serving him even. Right? You have the me, 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 my internal needs, which are cool, you need to have needs. Then there's his needs and like giving devotionally to someone. And then there is the ability for you to, the way you create the relationship, the way you craft it, be an inspiration for other human beings, for your children if you have them, for your friends, for your family, for a stranger in the streets who can see you holding hands. And by the way you connect with them and he connects with you, know that this is not a bullshit relationship. Know that this is something true. Know that this is something honest. Know that this is something worth exploring and worth risking getting hurt for. The fourth reason why the mindset of waiting a little bit longer until you feel happier with your life is worth it is because the relationship you'll step into will last longer. Call me crazy, but the vast majority of men and women I've connected with, uh, when they're serious about a relationship, Typically, I'm not saying typically, I'm not saying every case, but typically they say, I want this to last longer, as long as it can. Very rarely do I connect with somebody who says, I just want a boyfriend for a month, you know, or somebody for two weeks and then I can't wait to have that thing be over and start again. I mean, you have people like that, nothing wrong against them, but most women who are watching this, this channel want something longer and most men who want something conscious want something longer. So if you want the relationship to last longer, then what a better way to do it than through entering a more conscious type of relationship. The more you act based on neediness, the more you act based on just avoiding pain, the more, the less you have to offer because you feel your life is sucky at the moment, the lower your chances that relationship is going to last a long time. Hope this is helpful, useful, and insightful. If it is, I'm going to ask you to do three things. Number one, click like or thumbs up on this video. <laughs> Number two, subscribe to this channel. I'm getting super close to reaching that 100,000 subscriber mark, so help me be part of this movement. And hit the little bell if you want to not miss out on videos. Number three, most important of the whole thing, if you're saying, well, Bern, this is great, uh, I, I get, now I understand that I can't BS myself, I need to really step into a relationship from a place of worth and awesomeness, how the hell do I do that? Well, uh, there's a link on the description of this video that takes you to a masterclass that I created for you that will show you more specific step by step into how you can step into this kind of relationship. Now, if you are going through this videos and you're saying, this is awesome, but I recognize the truth in myself, I need more than videos to make this happen. I want some hand holding through the process to be able to create the kind of relationship that I want and I'm willing to invest in myself and my growth to do it, then there's another link on the description of this video that will take you to an application. You fill that application and if we're uh, matched to, to talk, then we'll connect and if we hit it off and you want to do this and I feel like I can help you, then we can work together hand by hand for me to help you to create the kind of relationship you want and step into the kind of life that I'm talking about right now. Thank you so much for connecting with me, my dear, and as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.